Hi, I am Aliza Tanbeer from Skillcurb. In this video, you will learn how to use Apache Spark in cloud on Databricks. And for that, we will first create a Databricks trial account. Then we are going to create a Spark cluster. Then we will create a notebook. And then finally, we are going to execute the Spark code into our notebook. We'll start by creating a free Databricks account on the community edition. And for that, go to databricks.com. And once you land on this page, you have to click try Databricks. Then you have to provide all the information that is needed and then click continue. And once you click continue here, you have to choose a cloud provider. You can either choose AWS, Microsoft, Azure or GCP. And instead of clicking continue, you have to select get started with the community edition. The email address you, pro you provided will receive a link. Follow the link and then finally you will land on this page. So this is going to be the look of your Databricks Community Edition. Let's explore it a bit. In the left navigation menu, you can see that we have multiple options of creating the components, data, compute, workflows, etc. So we'll start by creating a cluster for our Spark. For that, click Create and then from here, select Cluster. Once you land on this page, you have to provide a cluster name. I am going to call it Spark 4. And then you have to select Databricks Runtime version. From these different versions, you can select any of the ones since I am using Spark 3.4.0. So I am going to use this version. You can select any version that you want and then click Create Cluster. Once you click on Create Cluster, it is going to take some time for cluster creation. And I'll come back when the cluster is created. Okay, so you can see that our cluster named Spark 4 has been created. It has an active memory of 15 GB, active cores are 2 and 1 active DPU. So once your cluster is created, the next step is to create a notebook and for that once again click create and then select notebook. And you can see that your notebook has been created but right now the default language is Python. You can select any language you want. I am going to select SQL for this video. So now I am going to execute certain Spark queries inside the notebook and to do so I am going to go to the Databricks docs and once you scroll down a bit you will have all the steps of how to use Databricks as a beginner and the we'll firstly create a spark table from the CSV data for that I am going to copy this command and I'm going to paste it inside my Databricks. Okay, so what this query is doing, it is creating a table diamond using the CSV file. And this CSV file is already present inside the Databricks on this particular path. Okay, so let's execute it. You can either execute it by pressing shift and enter or you can run it using this play button or the run button. Execute it. And you can see that it has returned us OK. This means that the command has been successfully executed. OK. Now let's add another one. This can be done by clicking this plus button. OK. So once the table is created, now we have to query the data. And for that, scroll down a little bit. And this is the query to view the data or to select the data from the table that we just created. So I'm going to paste it here. So this query is going to select color average price as price from the table diamonds that we just created and we are going to group it by color and order it by color. Okay, let's execute it and you'll see that it has returned us the output having different colors and the average price of each of the color. Uh, apart from that, the Databricks also allows us to visualize the data and to do so you can click this plus sign and then select visualization so once you click visualization you will have different options for the visualization type either you can select a line chart or a bar chart a pie chart or any other area that you want to visualize your data you can also customize it by selecting the columns for the x and y axis and then simply click save so this is going to display you the data in a visualized format showing which color has the highest average price and which color has the lowest average price. And just like we executed simple select statement, you can perform different updation and deletion on this data just like you can do in any other language. 
and this is how you can use apache spark on cloud on databricks community edition that is all for this video